Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to another edition of uh, Reptile Ventures. So today we're just going to talk about um, incubating eggs. I got a lot of questions from people about how to incubate uh, python eggs, well ball python eggs, but python eggs in general. And uh, so I just thought I'd do a quick little video on what I do and um, the stuff I use to do it with. So um, basically with incubating eggs there's only two things that you got to worry about and that's humidity, having a proper level of humidity and proper temperature. And if you supply those two things, um, that's it. It's going to work. So we'll talk about the humidity first uh, because that's the easier thing to do. Uh, so what I use is just a Rubbermaid container like this. Uh, you don't need any holes drilled in it or anything like that. Um, you want one big enough where the entire clutch will fit in without touching the sides or the lid or anything like that. So you want a big enough container. But these ones are pretty much ideal for most clutches. So um, next thing to think about is what you want to use for the incubation medium. And uh, what I use is vermiculite. And there's a little bit in here already. But uh, you can buy vermiculite at any... Um, uh, garden supply store will have it. This is just a little bag. It comes in three different grades, uh, fine, medium, and coarse. I like the coarse stuff, if you can find it. So what I do is I just pour it right in here, get a good layer of it, maybe two or three inches. A couple inches, I guess. So, what people used to do with vermiculite is mix it roughly um, uh, like one to one the weight of the uh, the weight of the water, roughly a ratio of one to one, and that's if you want to put the eggs directly onto it. And I used to do it that way, but um, it's actually a lot more complicated to do it that way. You got to worry about not having too much water in there or not enough and um, a long time ago I was actually incubating a clutch of carpet eggs and I had the mixture a little bit too wet and um, all the eggs that were sitting on the vermiculite went bad and all the eggs that were kind of piled up on top of the other eggs were all hatched so I thought this is not the way to do it so what I do now is I basically just put the layer of the stuff in here like this take it over to the sink and I just spray water on it, really soak it down. Okay, so quite a bit of water. Don't worry about it at all. Um, and so there you go. That put the water in there. And then what I use is the um, fluorescent light diffuser panel that you can get at any hardware store. It comes in at like a 2x4 sheet. You just cut it up. Cut a piece that fits inside. You lay that on top like that. And the eggs just sit on top of that plastic. And so when you put the lid on and you put it in your incubator, um, it creates a really humid environment, but the eggs actually stay dry. They're not in contact with the, uh, with the vermiculite at all or the sides or anything like that. And it's a Super foolproof, easy way to do it. So, um, just so happens that I have a carpet python that laid eggs uh, last night, and we're going to grab those. Alright, so this is a, um, oh yeah, look at that. So this is an Erian Jaya uh, female. Uh, she's het for uh, granite. And um, actually I almost gave up on this female because I bred her two years prior to this. And both times she's given me like total infertile clutches, 100% infertility. But I thought, well, I'll try it one more time. And this year it seemed to work out. So, um, so yeah, now I just got to try and get these guys away from her. This looks like a pretty good clutch. Wow, alright. Not too shabby. 
Look at that. Okay, there's a few slugs in there. There's like three slugs in there. These little infertile things. And there's another one right there. I'll just take that off. Another slug. Get some of these wood shavings off of there. But wow, what a what a nice clutch. Okay, there's another slug buried in there. But you know what? I can't get that out very easy. stuck in there pretty good. Well, actually, no, there it is. I got it. So there. Get that out. So, well, that, but that is a good looking clutch of eggs. Wow, that's a lot of eggs in there, right? Eh? Pretty good. How many? Okay, so, um, I'll deal with her later. So now we just get our box. the eggs in there. Done! <laughs> okay, so now um, the next thing to talk about is temperature. Um, now you can, I mean I have a little room that's heated to 90 degrees and I will just put this in that room and you know roughly 55 days later those eggs are going to hatch. But if you don't have a heated room, I mean anything People make incubators out of anything. I mean, there's commercially available incubators. You can people make them out of um, coolers, styrofoam coolers, or the big camping coolers. Um, you can make just a big styrofoam box and heat it with um, some heat tape. I mean, pretty much anything is going to work where you can regulate the temperature to between 88 and 90 degrees. And uh, probably the most important thing is just to use a good thermostat like. Um, like a helix, like this. I gotta mount that properly on there. <laughs> good one. Or uh, like a herpstat. Um, just a good quality thermostat that will keep your temperature properly, you know, within that range, right? And that's really all there's to incubating eggs. It's really simple. So, all right. So I hope that helps explain things a little bit. And um, so yeah, that's it for now. So um, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to my videos. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area and be happy to answer them, okay? Alright, see you next time. Thanks.